Hi guys. My camera's been acting a little bit strange today. So if it's not in focus at some point, I apologize. I don't know what's wrong with it. Anyways, my sincerest apologies for no posts last Sunday. My life has just been all over the place. I honestly haven't even been that busy. I just feel like I cannot get my priorities straight. I don't even know what day it is half the time. So that's what this video is today. I'm gonna be getting my life back together. I actually tried to film a productive day in the life last week. I got like halfway through it and then I just gave up because I started my period and I was not feeling great we're gonna do a productive day in the life today i don't work today so that means i need to have a reset day for myself i am tired i'm gonna get the cuts their food that's what i'm up to so far Okay, I just finished feeding the cats. I'm gonna make myself breakfast now. I got this the last time I went to Trader Joe's. It's an ube mochi pancake and waffle mix, which I've never had before, but I was intrigued and I'm assuming they're gonna be good. I like ube, so we'll see. Anyways, I kinda need to hurry up. I have a meeting in about an hour with a brand that I'm working with for a TikTok, so I need to get ready for that. I don't particularly wanna look like this when I join that meeting, so I'm gonna make breakfast and then just get ready. Let's go. I'm gonna do a quick taste test. I'm actually running so low on time, so I need to eat this really fast. Quiet, get away from me. I burned two of them, so hopefully they still taste fine. And then I added some bananas. What is wrong with you? I don't know if I should rebraid my hair or not. It kind of smells like pancakes. <laughs> Alrighty, my meeting's in 20 minutes. I honestly got ready a lot faster than I thought I was going to, except I think I want to keep my hair braided. I want to get a different haircut so bad. I think I want shorter pieces like here. I think I want more defined curtain bangs, but I also don't really want to pay to go get my hair done. So do I look up a curtain bang tutorial? I don't know. My little baby hairs up here drive me insane and I feel like curtain bangs might fix that. I wanted to talk about a bunch of the new makeup products that I got, but I was in such a rush for no reason because I still have 20 minutes left. But I got some stuff from the Sephora sale recently that I've been using and I love it. I feel like my makeup has been looking so much better. Maybe. This one I actually did not buy myself. My friend McKenna gave this to me, which is so sweet. McKenna, if you're watching this, thank you so much. It's the blush from Rare Beauty in the shade Joy. This is my new favorite thing. I also got another blush from Say. I think is how you say the brand name. This one's pretty good too. It's just not as pigmented as the Rare Beauty one. And then I also got the Ilia Base Face Milk, which I heard a lot of people talking about and saying that they really liked. I don't really know what it's doing for my skin yet, but I do enjoy putting it on. It's a nice step to my makeup routine. I got some new sunscreen. This is the one from Innisfree. It's SPF 45. I really needed a better sunscreen and this one has been working perfectly for me. That's like pretty much it. Besides my meeting today, I did make a little to-do list of just a few things that I need to get done. I have my meeting at 11 and then I need to empty the litter genies that I have, which is just the little containers by the litter boxes and they're full. So I need to empty this today. That has got to be one of my least favorite chores to do. It is so disgusting and the bags are always so heavy, but I'll be so happy once I'm done with it. So I'm gonna do that and then I need to go and get dish soap. And if you know, I don't have a dishwasher so if I don't have dish soap I have literally no way to do my dishes and then I have a load of laundry that I should probably do I did laundry yesterday so I don't really want to do laundry today I don't know if I'll end up doing it today but I probably should it's 10 47 I'm gonna go set up my computer actually I'm gonna touch up my hair a little bit with a straightener just 
the front pieces. I really wanted to get up early enough today to do a Pilates workout, but clearly that did not happen. Maybe I'll do one later tonight. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I also want to clean my makeup brushes today. That was another thing that I wanted to do that maybe I'll end up not doing. I don't know. Okay. I tend to get really lazy the second that I have a lot of things to do. And I think it's me just being overwhelmed by the amount of things that I have to do, but I'm feeling motivated today. I also have some of this hair perfume. It's from Jisoo. I don't know how to say this brand name. I've heard people pronounce it so many different ways. So if that's wrong, please correct me. A little bit of that in my hair for today. I thought I'd show you my outfit for today as well. Nothing crazy. Um, I just have these jeans from Pakistan. This tank top is from Brandy. And then this jacket, I think is from Hollister. I don't actually know. I'm pretty sure it's Hollister. Yeah. <gasps> Guys, guess what else? Look, it's what I finally got. I have been wanting these shoes for so long. And I got them. I got them in a kid size because they were $20 cheaper. But I think these would be really cute with this outfit. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Hello. Nice to meet you. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. Bye. That was very quick. It went well. Pretty much any meetings that I have with a brand that I'm gonna work with, they're all kind of the same format where we just kind of go over the brief that they send me and like their expectations, timeline, all that sort of stuff. So it's kind of just preparing me for what I'm gonna have to do in a couple of weeks. My package just came in for the brand that I'm working with. I don't know if I can show this to you yet. I'm not really sure. I'm gonna just not, just in case. Clyde, help me, I can't open it. This is the strongest tape in the world. Okay, I got it open. This is so exciting. I will tell you this much. My camera's about to die. I will tell you that it's a food item. I'm gonna make one of these for lunch. For some reason, every time after I eat, <clears throat> I have to keep clearing my throat for the next like half an hour. Like it's just, it's messed up in here. I'm gonna get caught up on all of my chores now. I'm gonna start with cleaning my makeup brushes. This brush is really going through it. Um, to clean my makeup brushes, I have this. This bottle is so dirty. This is from Saint. My mom got this for me a while ago. It's just called a brush cleaner. This stuff smells so good. Yeah, you just spray it onto the bristles and then wipe it off. After I clean my makeup brushes, I'm going to, I'm gonna empty the litter genies. I'm gonna do the dishes. I would like to clean the floors today. I vacuumed yesterday and the floors are already dirty again. Um, my cats just get litter everywhere. I can feel myself crashing already. I feel lazy, but I have things to do. So I'm just gonna try and get them done as fast as possible. I was not feeling great, so I just gave up. But since then, I have been slowly organizing everything. There were a couple of things that I had been meaning to organize for literally months, and I just never got around to it, but I've been doing it this past week, and I'm very proud of myself. My apartment is literally the cleanest it's been in probably 10 months since I moved here. I vacuumed and I mopped all the floors. I cleaned my little vanity area. What else did I do? I did laundry yesterday. I've just been very productive. I've just been trying to slowly get my life together and I haven't filmed any of it. So I'm sorry, but I'm filming now, so it's okay. Anyways, I hope you guys are all doing well. I just got out of the shower. I also worked 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. today. And then I went to Trader Joe's really quick just to grab a few things. And now I am here. I have some homework due tonight that I'm I have not even looked at. I have no idea what I have to do, but I am really excited because it is my last week of classes for the current term that I'm in. Terms are usually back to back, so I'll have two different classes starting next week, I think, unless I have a break in between. I'm not actually sure, but I think I'll have two different classes starting on Monday next week. Like I was saying, guys, I'm so sorry. I cannot multitask. I will never understand how people do talking, get ready with me's. It just doesn't make sense in my head. I can't 
I can't do it. I just lose track of what I'm doing. I'm just gonna do a little bit of makeup. I don't have anything else to do today, but I would like to feel a little bit not as ugly. Sorry, if my mom is watching this, my mom gets angry when I call myself ugly in my YouTube videos. It's just a joke, kinda. What was I even saying? I literally, I already forgot what I was saying. I feel like this is not gonna be a very structured video because I don't really know what else I need to do to organize my life, but we'll figure it out together. I have worked every single day this week, except for Wednesday. Today's Thursday. I also work tomorrow and then I have the weekend off because it's seven eyes to your anniversary Which I'm very excited about. I might make a vlog out of that or like a little tiktok vlog. I'm not sure I booked us a room at the hotel that he asked me to be his girlfriend in which I thought would be cute and sentimental We'll probably go to like dinner and stuff too, but I am so excited to have the whole weekend off I feel like working back to back every single day is just exhausting I just have a few habits I think that I want to try and implement into my life and that is my idea of getting my life together. One being Pilates workouts. I would love to wake up every morning and do a Pilates workout. I feel like that's the perfect way to start my day. And then it also just like makes me feel better knowing that I am like actually moving my body and not being lazy. I also just really enjoy Pilates workouts. It's very therapeutic in the morning. But in order to do that, I do need to start getting up earlier, which has been literally the most impossible thing in the entire world for me lately. And I have no idea why. I don't know what that's about. All I want to do is get up early enough to do a Pilates workout and make breakfast and then go to work and I can never do it. So that's um, one thing that I would really like to do. I feel like my life would improve so much if I was just able to wake up like an hour earlier every single day. Speaking of waking up earlier, if anybody has the Hatch alarm clock, I have heard that it's life changing. So if any of you guys have that and you like it, please let me know because I am convinced that the Apple alarms don't go off. I think they are setting me up for failure. Oh, my dad is calling me. Hello? What you doing? I'm filming a video. Do you want to say hi? Hi, video. Okay, hello. Sorry. I finished my makeup while I was on the phone with my dad. I do not remember the last thing that we were talking about. Anywho, moving on. I also want to get back into journaling because I feel like I'm always talking about how good journaling is for your mental health. And I will not even lie to you. I don't remember the last time I journaled. I want to start having more of a night routine. Seb and I will usually just watch YouTube videos or something until I can barely keep my eyes open and then there's a ton of stuff that I do like right before I go to sleep and then by the time I get in bed I'm not tired anymore because I went from like falling asleep to doing all of these things that I want to do before going to bed so I feel like it might benefit me to start getting ready for bed earlier so that I'm not doing as much right before I go to bed does that make sense I don't know just having more of like a relaxed night versus trying to get everything done super fast before I go to sleep on that same topic I I have a tip for trying to implement new habits into your life and I feel like this has worked really really well for me and especially if you work any sort of job I feel like you'll be able to make the connection but one thing that has really helped me is to treat the habits that I want to make kind of as like a, a closing shift for example, there's a couple of different things that I always try to do before I go to sleep, and that is flossing. I clean my cat's bowls, I clean their litter boxes, and then I make sure that all of the dishes are done before I go to sleep. Basically, the mindset that I have towards those things is that, how do I word this? At my job, we have like a list of things that we have to do before we close. Mopping, wiping down the tables, turning off all the lights, like whatever it is, and those are things that we have to do, like they're mandatory. And so I've taken that mindset and transferred it to my personal life and I treat my little list of things as something that has to be done before I go to sleep so it's like a, a closing shift kind of so before I go to bed I'm like oh I can't go to bed before I floss I can't go to bed before I do the dishes and it also just makes it easier on myself for the next day because obviously I'm not gonna want to wake up and do dishes and so doing them the night before just makes my life easier. I guess closing shift really only makes sense if you're doing it before bed, but that's how I've been kind of thinking about everything that I need to do. And it's really, really helped. Like genuinely, I don't think I have ever in my life <laughs> flossed as consistently as I am now. My dentist would be so proud. And then once you start that habit, you're not gonna wanna break it either. I make sure to do these things every single night because I would be so disappointed into myself if I broke my streak of doing all of them. Hopefully that made sense. I'm going to get dressed, get started on my homework, and then we'll see where the night takes us. Also, I had two questions for you guys that I completely forgot about. First one, do any of you guys use this shampoo? If so, 
though do you like it because I was watching a video on YouTube where a girl recommended these and I bought them right away because the shampoo and conditioner that I was using before I'm pretty sure it was giving me dandruff so I needed something new and I saw someone recommend these and I bought them but I saw on TikTok recently that, that this brand made a bunch of people's hair fall out and now I'm scared my hair has not fallen out yet but if you guys have these let me know if you like them please second question I just saw my friend McKenna do this in her YouTube video I just reintroduced myself to you guys in my previous video and I feel like it's only right that you guys introduce yourselves as well I would love to know how old you guys are where you're from what you're up to in life currently like are you in high school college just anything about yourself because I would love to build more of a community and I feel like we need to introduce ourselves to each other so if you're feeling up to it leave a comment I would love to talk to you guys in the comments those are my only two things that I had to say I'm gonna go see what I have to do for homework and hope that it's not a lot because it is due tonight I recently reorganized my desk and like the shelf right next to it and it's so much nicer to be in here now I used to hate doing my homework in here because everything was so cluttered and it was just awful to be in here but it's actually really nice now my homework for this week I have a discussion post for my digital marketing class I don't have anything due for my visual communication and design class at least for today it's due on Sunday but it's not due today should I do it today probably but am I going to? Oh, I got kind of a sh grade on my on my final. Why? It's not it's not a bad grade. It's a B. But I've literally gotten like 100% on every other assignment in this class. My professor literally spelled the word but as but in my project submission feedback. Bro gave me a B and spelled but like but. All right, I just finished the assignment that I had to do for today. I wanted to plan out my week. We'll show you guys how I do that. It's pretty simple. I usually just write down a to-do list for the week. I write down all of my homework assignments and then I also write down my work schedule. Okay, I actually lied. My classes don't start on Monday. I have a week off, which is really exciting. I went to go write down the homework for these new classes and it doesn't start until May 6th. So I have a week off. I don't really wanna do more homework. I think I'm just gonna do my discussion post responses and then I'll see what I'm feeling up to after that. I'm just gonna clean a little bit around the living room. I'm going to dust and just clean some of the tables. Not even getting all the dust off. These are just permanent dusty. Good morning. I just got out of bed. It's 8 a.m. Feeling proud of myself. I don't work until 2 today, so I feel like this is as early as I need to be up today. Also, sorry I stopped filming last night. I didn't really do anything else. But anyways, I am going to do a Pilates workout. I love getting to do a workout in the morning. It makes me feel so much better. I'm just going to put my hair in braids and then I'm going to feed the cats really quick as well. I think I function better when I have less sleep. I won't even lie to you because I think I went to bed at like 1.30ish last night and I woke up at like 7.45 and I'm not tired. What is that about? Maybe I was getting too much sleep. I'm feeling well rested today and I'm actually feeling like I can open my eyeballs, which is great. Miss fat. All right, this is the Pilates workout that I'm gonna do. I might do this one as well. We'll see how I'm feeling after this one, but I kind of want to do these two. Also, side note, I keep finding massive ants in my kitchen. What the hell is that about? Why is there massive ants in my kitchen? We had like an ant problem in the kitchen when I first moved in and they're coming back. It's just gross. Like what what do you what are they doing in there? Let's get started. Don't look at my toes also. Boom. 
Both of my workouts are done. I just made my protein smoothie. This is my favorite smoothie. It's just bananas, blueberries, some vanilla protein powder, collagen, and then colostrum. And then I just used the rest of the almond cashew and macadamia nut milk that I had. Yummy. I'm probably just gonna sit on the couch and drink this and then I'll make breakfast. There's another ant in my damn kitchen. Are you serious? What is this guy doing in here? Why is there so many of them? I didn't kill it. Where'd it go? I don't know where he, I don't know. I didn't mean to scream like that. That was a little bit embarrassing. Dude, that's gross. If he was a little bit smaller, I wouldn't mind as much, but why is he huge? I'm gonna sit on my couch and drink this. If I see one more ant in here today, I'm taking out the ant poison. It just has to happen. Delicious. I'm gonna do my gratitude journal. This thing is literally dusty because of how long it's been since I wrote in it. The last time that I wrote in my gratitude journal was September 3rd. Clyde, it has been way too long. It has a morning and a nighttime little prompt. In the morning it asks what I'm grateful for, what would make today great, a daily affirmation, and then at night it's highlights of the day and what did I learn today. I'm really excited to start writing stuff down again because it's really fun to go back and look at all the things that I was like grateful for and like highlights of my day. Clyde, get out of my way. All done. This thing is dusty. Anyways, I think that about wraps up this video. My life feels a little bit more put together. Again, I apologize for not actually filming any of the stuff I did to organize. Just trust me on the fact that I did it, okay? I've been working hard. And honestly, sometimes it's very hard to film stuff like that because it's already overwhelming me so much. And then to also think about like getting good angles and making sure that the camera's in focus. It's a little bit exhausting sometimes. So I just wanted to get everything done. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Hopefully it wasn't too all over the place and chaotic. If you guys are still watching, comment down below this emoji. I hope you guys all have a great day and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.